Another Uke Store exclusive today, and these usually go well. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day back after my week off. As ever, this is your summary video review. If you see the link below the video, that will take you to the website where you'll find the scores, more pictures, more detail about this review. This just sums it up. Running across the bottom of the screen, two weeks worth of thank yous to people who've donated to help keep this site going. I can't do it without donations because I don't get paid by the brands or the stores to do these reviews, and nor should I because they couldn't be impartial reviews. And as ever, if you like what you see on the Got A ukulele youtube channel uh, as many of you do uh, hit the subscribe button help me out get the subscribe account higher up um, that would help too. All right, as I said in that introduction, um, store exclusive ukulele models, they usually work really well. That is to say a ukulele store that puts its name to a brand that's exclusive to them, a model from a brand that's exclusive to them. It doesn't mean it's a guarantee that they're going to get it right, but more often than not they do. And the reason being is if you're a store, the last thing you want is to put your name on something that turns out to be lousy. Uh, Southern Ukulele Store have done it with some very high-end instruments like Canalea, uh, Southern Ukulele Store, incidentally. Um, and this one really excited me to see because I know they've had a lot of success with this brand and it's a brand that I've liked for many years because they get better and better and better. This is a new exclusive from Flight Ukuleles uh, to Southern Ukulele Store. Comes in concert and tenor. This is the tenor. This is the Flight Carabao tenor. Um, uh, it's a spruce and mango model. Now, Carabao. Um, no, it's not what I first thought it was, which was the brand sponsor of the English Football League Cup. <laughs> Carabao is a variety of mango tree from the Philippines, and there's mango in this ukulele. It's all solid woods, so we have solid spruce top. This, these lights are going to blow this out. It's very, very pale, as spruce is. It's really good quality, nice, tight, straight grain. And the back and sides are mango all solid mango two pieces on the back very slightly curved two pieces on the sides um it's not the curliest mango i've ever seen there's a little bit of flaming going on it in it actually um but it you know i like them plainer and there's very little of that sort of black dark sootiness that you get with some mango woods it's very clean mango uh, alex at southern ukulele store who helped develop this with flight loves mango instruments uh, very rich sounding wood, very comparable kind of to koa, uh, not a cheap wood either. Um, so it's a really nice contrast, I think. Uh, spruce top, mango back and sides. The bridge is made of rosewood and is very tailor-esque. It's a pin bridge with those little red and gold topped pins which are exactly the same as the ones on the Flight Fireball, which is an instrument I absolutely adored. It's really, really tidy, this bridge. The bone uh, saddle is compensated on the top, as you can hopefully see. Um, decoration is simple. Um, black, I think, um, rosewood edge binding to the top, uh, and a tail stripe, and a bit of abalone around the sound hole. Uh, and it's then all finished in a gloss, which I can't find any flaws with it at all. It is an absolutely flawless gloss. There's no pooling. It's not overdone around here. It's really, really, really tidy. One of the tidiest flights I've ever reviewed, I think. Inside is very tidy too. Tapered, thin bracing, notched kerfing, and I don't know whether I can show you. Um, probably not. I guess I can up here. The um, braces on the top are drilled through Canalea style to uh, reduce their weight but keep their stability. The neck is made of mahogany, three pieces. The joint up here is really well hidden, but it's a little bit too obvious for my liking down here. I mean, it's not structural, is it? But there we are. What is really pleasing to see is that this is finished in satin, not gloss. So really smooth and quick, nothing grippy on the hand. Um, that's a really nice touch. It's not overly rounded up here, and it's also really comfortably wide for my hands at least, at 38 mil, 30 from G to A. Um, this is a really, really nice neck. Topped with more rosewood, which is so dark and uniform in colour, you you'd be forgiven for thinking it was ebony. Uh, it has 19 frets, 14 to the body, and the fret ends are what we call semi-hemi. So they are kind of, they don't quite reach the end, end of the fingerboard, and they are, um, oh, come on, focus, please. 
anyway, they're semi-hemi fret ends. That's usually the mark of a very high-end <laughs> instrument. Um, means absolutely no sharp edges whatsoever. Really, really, really smooth. Uh, the position markers, I love these. These are sort of offset. So we got one at the 5th, 7th, 10th, the larger one at the 12th, and one at the 15th. Um, but what I really like about them is that they also curve around the edge and become side dots. I've never seen that before. I think that is really, really clever, really classy touch that. That's excellent, like that. Beyond the bone nut, it's the on vogue, on trend style of headstock we're seeing more and more of now. I do like it. Uh, faced in more rosewood, looks really classy, almost piano black on the facing. Um, it's an open frame headstock. Um, I do like those. The Southern Lo Ukulele Store logo there on the back. The tuners are made by Prowl. Um, they are really good quality tuners. Um, I love the contrast of the gold and the black. Really good quality tuners. Comes fitted with a set of clear fluorocarbon strings and you also get a really nice padded gig bag with both the flight logo and the Southern Ukulele Store logo. That's really nice. Now, so this is, there are some serious appointments to this. Um, certainly comparable to the um, Fireball. Um, the Fireball comes automatically with a pickup. You can get this with a pickup, but it's a Misi pickup, which is much better than the pickup on the Fireball, which is a, a, a double, I think. Um, but I can't find anything wrong with it. This is this is uh, this is probably the tidiest and best finished flight I think I've probably looked at, and it really surprised me actually, because the price of this is three hundred and forty nine pounds, not nearly five hundred pounds, admittedly with a pickup for the Fireball, um, and it's ostensibly the same sort of instrument. Okay, it's got spruce on the top. It's not all mango. It doesn't have the uh, the sound hole um, cutaway thing, uh, the side sound port. It, uh, but other than that, it's, it's essentially the same instrument. I love the look of it, really modern swoopy shape, all solid woods, and I, there's nothing wrong with it. I can't find any flaws. It's really light as well. It's 650 grams. It doesn't feel heavy in the slightest. Um, How does it play? Now, spruce, very bright sounding wood. Um, whether that mango being rich is gonna tone it back enough, um, as mahogany wood, which is normally the pairing, I don't know. You, know, you can al already tell it's really, really peppy in sound. Volume. Yeah, really good. Really, really good. Loud instrument. Sustain is great. The whole thing is humming into my chest. than I would like myself. That's purely subjective. I like my tenors to be a bit woodier. However, when you get into finger picking it, it all, it's just delicious.
that's a really really good instrument 350 pounds is a steal for this for, for what you're getting here these are really really good appointments really really nice woods i can't find any flaws in the build as i say anywhere i love this neck i just absolutely love this um the Flight Carabao, also available, as I say, in concert, also available with uh, pickups on them. I've been getting really concerned lately about my scores because there's a lot of nines coming through. Um, that's not because I think I'm losing my edge because if something is bad, I will say it's bad. This isn't bad. Uh, I think what it is is that there's just so much good stuff out there now. It's a brilliant time to be buying ukuleles. You're spoiled for choice in really, really good instruments. 350 quid with this gig bag, all solid woods. It's a brand I love. It's a store I recognize as being really knowing their stuff. So I'm hardly surprised that with Alex being involved in the design of this, that it wasn't going to be anything other than excellent. And it is excellent. He knows his ukulele, uh, as you know. Um, the Flight Carabao, stop rambling, bad, stop rambling. Flight Carabao, solid spruce and mango tenor exclusive to Southern Ukulele Store. Thanks very much to them for loaning me this one um, and the t-shirt, <laughs> thank you. Um, no, that's not product, but well, it is product placement, that is, isn't it? But honestly, if this was bad, I would have said so, irrespective of the t-shirt, I trust you know that. Uh, how is it gonna be bad? Southern Ukulele Store and Flight, what a great partnership. Right, there we are. Um, I think my week's off now. I think things are clear. Daughter is better, etc., etc. So I will be back with you uh, next week. Uh, and it's the instrument that so many people have asked me to take a look at. Um, and I got one. So you can have a look at it. I'm not going to say anything more. Uh, I hope you have a very good end of your day on Sunday uh, and the weekend. Stay safe next week, everybody. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.